Mike Tyson once said that everybody's got plans until they get hit. That is really the theme of the book Glassjaw, and the term Glassjaw is basically a fighter who can't take a punch. And a lot of what the book focuses on is what it is like nowadays to become targeted in the middle of a scandal. In every crisis, you have motivated parties. One person's crisis is another person's meal ticket. You are dealing with very vested interests ranging from trial lawyers to unions to the media to legislators to members of Congress, whistleblowers, all parties that have deep investments in keeping the crisis going. It is harder and harder to survive a modern crisis, largely because of what I refer to as the fiasco vortex. The fiasco vortex uh, really is another term to refer to snowball effects and vicious circles that spin completely out of control. There are three components to this fiasco vortex. One of them is volume. And by volume, I mean the sheer loudness of negative information that's out there and the sheer amount of it that can cause damage to a target. Uh, the second uh, aspect of the fiasco vortex is what I call venom, which is the sheer negativity of information. A lot of what drives a crisis is negativity. Now it doesn't matter what's true. It matters whether or not something resonates. The third aspect of the fiasco vortex is what I call velocity, which is how fast negative information spreads. The key to the glass jaw phenomenon is what most people and companies facing crises are facing are conflicts with deeply motivated adversaries as opposed to some sort of misunderstanding that can be corrected with rhetoric.